So does caffeine raise your blood pressure? This is Diamond Finance here with the HeartFit Clinic, and I'm going to talk about caffeine. And the answer to that answer is we are unsure. And there was a study that was done uh, recently. They had three groups of people. So they had uh, one group that had an espresso, one group that had um, average uh, coffee, and then one ca- group had IV injection uh, caffeine. And they found that the triple espresso uh, caused quite a big jolt in blood pressure and before and after drinking and then also decaffeinated espressos. Mm-hmm. They found it was a, a 13 millimeter mercury increase with that, but then it didn't last. And then um, uh, diastolic pressures, which is the bottom number, increased by seven millimeter mercury. And, and I think always the bigger number, the top number is a little bit more important. So with that said, you know, there, there are lots of things as to what we can do to improve uh, our blood pressure. And one of them may not be to give up caffeine. So my answer to this is going to be a, a, a bad one. If you're used to drinking caffeine, um, your cup of coffee. Now, I, I'm just going to be honest with all of you. I do not drink caffeine and I do not drink alcohol. And I, um, I sorry, I don't drink uh, coffee. And it's just something I, I just dislike. It's always something I've disliked. And now that may sound too absurd to a coffee drinker like, um, you know, like, like those close around me. And so my point is, is that if you don't like coffee, don't start drinking coffee to improve your blood pressure because there are some good benefits. It can improve bowel movements, they say, um, but then on the other side of things, it can do some bad things to it. So there's a lot of things that go beyond the cardiovascular system. And so really, I think what I want you to get out of this is if you're used to drinking coffee, drink coffee, but understand that if you are drinking an excess amount of, of caffeine a day, it can raise your blood pressure. And that's been proven, that's been shown. But not a legitimate study has been done as to over excessive and non excessive. And co- so caffeine does raise blood pressure and um, it does cause problems, but it, it, it's a short term problem. It, it's not a, it's not a long term accumulative effect. And so anyway, my, let, let's get back to the caffeine drinkers or the coffee drinkers. If you're drinking coffee in the morning and you drink another cup later, okay, well, that's not a big deal. But overconsumption of anything is not good either. And so uh, it's important to understand, okay, well, if you do have high blood pressure, maybe it's a good idea to minimize your caffeine exposure because it can be um, causing problems. Now, there's a two-year study done and it was uh, quite a, a large number of people. It's about 46,000 people between the ages of 40 and 75. And they found no link of caffeine or, or coffee consumption and the risk of, of coronary artery disease even in those that were drinking heavy drinkers. And I don't know what the classification was for that. But uh, regular coffee pr- proved harmless. Decaf was associated with a slightly increase, but it was not, um, I don't think it was statistically significant or very weak. And so the more data or more focus needs to be come out there as to whether you can or cannot drink coffee. So if you are not drinking coffee, don't start. And if you are drinking coffee, maybe just keep it in moderation because moderation moderation is always key with everything. And so uh, I can say that caffeine does raise your blood pressure, but it's a small, um, it's a very small amount and it does go away, it subsides right away. And so, um, you know, if you're having about six plus cups of coffee a day, maybe it's time to minimize that. And again, it goes beyond that. What more things are going on with you? What micronutrient deficiencies are happening or hormonal levels are being changed or, uh, or do you have artery problems or, or function problems? Those are important things to, to figure out as well. Uh, I can go off on all these topics here, but again, I want to keep it concise. Diamond Fernandez here with the Hartford Clinic, wishing you to live happier, healthier, and longer.